Hello everyone, it's the Craft Hog. I thought I would come on with the project share. Woohoo, got some things done. Um, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, on this channel, I just show hauls and uh, projects and I haven't done many tutorials. I want to get in more into them. I guess I'm just a little afraid I'm going to mess up and have to start all over, but I'm going to get there because I really want to show off some, um, my dragonflies that I make. And then I thought I'd show how I did these without having to use, to use a needle to get those, um, I don't know, people use needles, uh, um, and sew the jute twine around each of the petals. And I just had to avoid doing that. So I will be showing a tutorial. Um, I, in, I'm just not sure when, but I will be showing one. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I wanted to show some of the things that I have gotten done. Woo finally. Well, I mean, you know, I work on so many things at one time sometimes. I've got ADHD and so... Um, I might be on one project for a while and then I'm like, ah, I'm going to get, I'm going to do this other one and then I'll do this other one and then I do this other one and yeah, so, but I got a whole bunch finished or not a whole bunch. I got a few finished, so I thought I would share. So hopefully this doesn't get to be a long video, but I'm going to probably cut it short and do like a part one after five or six minutes and then I'll do part two. So we'll start with like the girly cutesy stuff. Well, I have wanted to make a baby girl like um, album. I made a couple of boy ones and I want to do a girl one and my boyfriend's stepbrother had just had a little girl in November so I thought I would make her something. So look it! Isn't that cute? I will put the dies that I used for this um, down below. I got it off AliExpress. Um, but yeah, so what I did here is I just did a little bit of a second layer of cardstock and I, I didn't want it really pink. I wanted it kind of, um, I don't even know what color this really is, but it's not really pink. It seems like it has a little bit more maybe tints of red in it, but it's not red either. I mean, it's pink. It's just, and it's not salmon, but yet it kind of looks like a dark salmon. But I like the color, so I did use some of my recent cardstock stickers that I hauled from scrapbook.com. I cut out her name, and I just, um, I put some, oh, uh, jeez, what's it called? Stickles. Stickles on it to just make it look cute. I think they're stickles. It could be um, Nouveau Drops. It could be the Nouveau Drops, too, but one of them. So, and then I added a cute little charm off to the side with some beads and a cute little bow. I just love that color. It matches really well. And then I made her a little tassel. And then um, I just added three rings. to. I thought that was plenty for it. I was going to do string, but I like the rings better. Okay, so then, oh, look it. Look at all these fun little tuck spots. So I did one here and I um, outlined it with some pom-pom uh, trim. I did a cute little bow. I did some, I actually this color, this is like a, a fabric washi tape. And um, all I did was I just put some wax, you know, like just colored it a little bit. But added a sticker. I made her tags all the way through so that mom can write some things if she likes. I got a cute little buddy poking out here behind this um, envelope, and she can actually put something in the envelope if she wants, but yeah, I got a cute little buddy tucked back there, and then flip to the next page. I did some de cute decorating here with some dies and stickers and cute, um, oh, you know, those rolling flowers. <laughs> And on this side, I just uh, added a little spot where she could put this tag where she can write on it. She can put a picture on it. Whatever she wants to do. Then on this one, I did a little bit different colors. I did more of the red and kind of tried to match that up. And up here, I've got, 
a sticker that says, you are my greatest adventure, and mom can write some things if she wants. I got some spots to put tags and pictures and anything else. Um, and then here I put like, it's like a thick card stock sticker. So it says my heart is full. So again, if she wants to put pictures, she can. I've got little spots here, cute little unicorn paper. And then over here I did a, all I did was just put a bead on a, one of those fat paper clips and this. I was going to add acetate to it, but I left it. Um, but mom can write stuff here too. She can put a little picture in there if she wants, whatever she wants to do. Did uh, this one just wanted to sh show mom that, hey, you could put something here. So I did just a rosette there and then there she can put something in there if she wants to. And, and um, the heart got kind of goofy, but I think it's okay. I, I have one that like, indents like a it would indent a page or whatever I don't know what you guys call that but um I cut it out to as a heart because I thought that was kind of cute and then I just kind of put ink on it but it didn't turn out that great but it'll be all right if she just puts a picture there and covers it <laughs> um then over here too I got some cute stickers and then this I did make it so that mom can put a picture underneath there. I think I did. Yep. I did it so mom can put something underneath there. I made a cute little um, tag with a flower in front, added a little sticker jammy. I love the flags. I just love those stamp or those um, punches where I can punch these different flags out. And so added some, um, I wanted to kind of make it look like water. And so I used Oh, I don't have the ribbon, ribbon out anymore, but I used the ribbon that I put on this jar on there just to kind of make it look like it maybe looked like water. I don't know if it really does, but I thought it looked cute. And then here, too, she can put something underneath there. I added a little bow, and here, you know, I wanted her to have some blank pages, too, and not have everything filled up. And here, too, she can add pictures. Uh, she can write on it if she likes. And then um, this page, I also, cute little tag spot, just kind of did some plain pages here. Uh, here I did a tag, I put happy, and this also is a spot she can put stuff in, and then I made a little shaker. Cute little, look at the little foot, ah, so cute. Anyway, so yeah, so that was cute. Looks like this is going to be just about the book. <laughs> Okay, and then this page, too, I just, you know, just some stickers, a little spot to put something. I made a few blank pages just because, you know, like I said, Mom's got to put stuff in there, too. It can't be all about me decorating it. Um, then here I decided to, um, where, you know, you do kind of that layer, I decided to leave part of it so that she could put some things in there. Or if she wants to write on it, she can. And the same with here. And then um, I thought, well, it's the end of the book. She might want to put her first birthday picture on this one. And then there's the end. So there is my cute little book. And it even stands up nice. So maybe she could put it on her dresser or something like that. I'm not going to do a closure on it because of how it's kind of cut out and stuff. But totally adorable. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this video is going to be about the baby book, and then I'm going to come right back on for everything else. Because, And this is only because it takes so long to upload. If anybody's got ideas on that, please comment below. And, you know, like, subscribe, comment, you know, all that good stuff too. But I see I got it nine minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and I'm going to come back on and do another one as soon as I get this one uploaded. All right? Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in a bit.